I just got off the stage and I was taking pictures with the people around here and you will always see there's this one hair sticking out in each and every picture. Hey, this is how it goes. Hey what's up, this is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer and welcome back to this vlog. Another touring vlog but also a diving into my mind type of vlog. And now I gotta come clean with you because I say I prepped for this, the prep was actually really minimal. And the prep was actually all here because throughout the week I've just been tackling deadlines, I finished two tracks, one vlog, a script for my Way Back Luke radio episode. And I'm not gonna disappoint you here. This is very important. Ask yourself with every show, who is the crowd that I'm gonna play for? And in this case, I figured it's not a too young of a crowd because you need to be able to afford this trip out to Cancun. There's a lot of maybes involved. Maybe there's a lot of Dead Mouse fans who love Dead Mouse music. Maybe there's a lot of Cascade fans who love Cascade's music. Maybe there's people that actually would love to see me play and hear all of my music. So these are just questions. Number one, you can ask yourself, who is my crowd? And then number two, what is the actual timetable? In there you'll see that I'm actually playing in a pool area. Dave Summit is before me. I asked him in person. He's not related to John Summit. And then Sun Holo is after me, which Sun Holo plays a lot of 150 BPM stuff. Not really, you know, anywhere in my lane other than that. So that's a, like an open card. Cause then I was like, but where is Cascade and Dead Mouse playing then? Apparently they play on an, a different stage and then Dead Mouse is hosting an after party as well tonight. So they're nowhere near my stage. But a good hack would be to actually drop a Dead Mouse and a sc Cascade track and I have free reign. But never, never, never ever do this when the artist is in the same area as you and especially when they're after you, do not play any tracks by the artist that is after you or who is hosting this. And then a really important thing is the size of the crowd and, and what is the venue like? So in my case, I'm playing a pool party. That's a different setting than a club or a festival. People will be in their bathing suits. People will be chilling at the water. What can I do there energy wise to keep them entertained but not ruin that swimming pool type of vibe. So with all these questions, I was driving out to the airport and I was actually listening over the latest tracks that I had downloaded and, and put in my DJ system. I came up with titles, I looked at titles, I set some cue points here and there, thought about combinations, thought about vibe. So for instance, this type of crowd would probably love Eric Prid's every day as well. So I'm gonna plan on playing that as well, which I'll let you know. And so we're here at the backstage section of my vlog. Let's see how my trip out to Cancun, Mexico went. And then I'll come back to you after with thoughts and how it went and what actually went down, what I had planned. Here we go. Touchdown in Mexico, in Cancun. Very happy to escape the, the cold and wet weather in New York right now. And I'm ready to get sun soaked. Hey, but whoa, whoa, feel that. It's summer instantly. Wow. In my right now, enjoying the, the Mexican view, Cancun right here. And what I think is quite ballsy is that there's, there's no safety belts. I'm not wearing a safety belt. How about that? Good thing my driver is. That's fine. As we go. Arriving at the hotel, it looks massive, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a long stairs going up there and this whole thing kind of looks like, is it a pyramid? Well, I was right, it is a pyramid. And actually it was a long way out walking to my room, so I lost a bunch of time there. So I am actually scrambling, but before I go to the show, feast your eyes on this. Look at this. Oh, that's the stage for tonight, I believe. Man, we're here. Hello, Cancun. I'm gonna need to get ready straight away. Make sure to hit me with a like right now. And if you love seeing the backstage and the DJ life, hit me with a subscribe button as well. And also hit that bell, don't forget. Well, I made it, sorta, kinda. I'm like 10 minutes late, but I'm in outfit. And we are in the green rooms, which uh, the green rooms are never green, but I've been dying to get some food as well. And so we have uh, this backstage and it's funny, right? Because backstage land, oh, it's super exciting. Look at all these people. <laughs> Maybe some quiet for the storm. So I'm just gonna eat something and then I'll go on stage. Yeah. Good to see you. Woo! Got a bit of fever, rubbing, pulling around the block. Got a bit of fever, rubbing, pulling around the block. Got a bit of fever, rubbing, pulling around the block. Got a bit of fever, rubbing, pulling around the block.
and I was taking pictures with the people around here and you will always see there's this one hair sticking out in each and every picture. Hey, this is how it goes. Set went great. Let me talk to you about it in the room. Okay, so hair is fixed. There were actually a ton of people who knew me from 2010 and that sort of era who had seen me play Ultra Main Stage, who had seen me play EDC Main Stage. They wanted to hear the 2010 stuff. So the first two tracks of my set were David Guetta, Tyra McDonald, Delirious, The Laid Back Luke Remix, absolute classic. And my second track was Sydney Sampson, Riverside. And from there on, I took it a little bit houseier because of the pool vibe and because I wanted to show people that I can play like modern house music as well. And then at a certain point, we came into a breaking area of my set where it was like, oh, maybe people are gonna get drinks or should I should I really go EDM right now or what, what can I do? And then the one track after was Eric Prids, Every Day, and it worked. Thankfully, it worked. But, and so the big but, not that type of but, but the big but here is that I am able to freestyle, that I'm able to flip my set around and grab tracks that I was, wasn't was actually planning on playing. While I watch the crowd, I'll go with the flow. And that's a very important trait to have and something that you should train and which you can literally only train if you play out and play out a lot. But don't go anywhere, I have a little bonus for you. The vlog is not done yet. I am actually gonna take you out to the other stage where I'm gonna check out Green Velvet and right after Cascade is playing and Dead Mouse is hosting an after party at midnight and I'm thinking of showing up there as well. So I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna see what that was like right here. just closed off dead mouse finished his set and I am actually gonna get my gear out in my room right now this is gonna be the after party and it's funny though because the vibe over here reminds me of holy shit back in the day or groove cruise shout out to both a lot of folks just having a lot of fun and uh, let's see if we can have some more I don't know if you can hear me but I found it I found it actually I walked all the way up and around to just find out that it was on the same level I just needed to walk backstage because it's dead mouse and friends so that's the fun things I do with it and playing the after party this was bonus I was really happy with that awesome crowd we were inside we were in the atrium the, the epic atrium man what a time out into the silence in the catacombs of this pyramid style hotel big shout out to Cascade and dead mouse sun soaked disco Donnie for having me what an amazing experience. Hey, I made more vlogs like this. Make sure to check out my Tomorrowland, how I prep my Tomorrowland set. And check out my vlog for Amsterdam dance event as well. Similar style, similar kind of candid behind the scenes type of vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell. And I will catch you back here on the next one. Until then, L's up.